Miss Murray, your librarian, and this lesson is about how to use the history databases that we have available to you. So um, the first thing that you'll do, of course, is under MS Bookmarks, you'll be going to the MS Library. And when you get there, you're going to see a tab. It's the third one in from the left. It's, it says History. So you're going to click on that, and then what's going to show up is all of this. Okay, now there's a lot on this page. I probably won't go into depth on any one thing, but I'm going to show you around a little bit. So um, when you're in here, you're going to see the main thing that you'll be using are these databases here, which are called Gale in Context databases. The first one listed here is the primary one that you should all be using at the middle school level. It's called US History and Context. So this password underneath is only needed when you're using the database at home, because when you go home, it doesn't know for sure if you belong to our, our building and we have to pay for this product. So that's why I put the password right there for you. So if you click on US History and Context, you'll see a screen like this show up and you're gonna see a nice bright search bar here. And this is where you're gonna to wanna to put in your topic for history. So when I start typing in Trail of Tears, I'm also gonna see it called Indian Removal in the Trail of Tears. And if it's in bright text like that, like that bold text, that's good. That means it's a topic page. So you wanna to go to those topic pages because you're gonna have a lot more information there. If you don't get a topic page, that's okay because there's going to be tons of articles even if you don't have a main topic page. Okay, so here we can read um, a, a summary of what this event was. Okay, and that's the beginning of the um, article page. And you can see there's quite a bit here. Okay, um, the nice thing that you can do here is you can cite this page easily. You can also send it, download, print it. And you can also have it um, read out loud to you by going to the little speaker and listening to the article. So you can also change the font size. You can add it to your drive. There's a lot you can do here. Um, so when you're in here, you can also go back to the main page by clicking on that. And you're going to see that it has featured com content three. We're going to have audio, reference books. There's going to be biographies, the people who were involved in that event. So if you need to know who, who the main characters were, the biographies tab can be helpful. Um, related websites, images can be very helpful. If you're making a slideshow, and I think most of you might be doing that, you can check out the images here. And again, you're going to have a lot of great, you know, maps and, and you know, drawings and illustrations of these events. So definitely take a look at that. And again, also those can be cited. So when say you want to be in this is a political cartoon from the time, which is really great because it would show this is what people were feeling at the time about this. Um, you can also cite that. So you can use that citation at the end of your project to show that you got your information um, and where you got your information from. Okay, so that's just one of the databases. Um, these others are also excellent. We have Research and Context, which is a general database, um, a U.S. History Collection, which has got a great number of books, ebooks, articles, all kinds of things. And then I'm also going to point to this one because we used to have something called World Book, but we don't have that this year. And I believe this is a good replacement if you liked World Book. Um, it's called Gale Elementary. I, I know that sounds like, oh, that's a little too easy for us, but I do want, uh, you know, I, I do think there's a lot of valuable information in here and it is not quite as difficult to read or as wordy. So some of us are after that, um, which is good because you know where your reading comfort is. So if we go to Gale Elementary, we again can put in our topic. So let's say we, you know, we're doing Tecumseh. He was a major figure. And we click on that. And we're going to get a very simple essay about him. If we can keep reading that, that'll open up more about him. There's a good picture of him. Very basic information, yes. But this is a good starting place for a lot of us, okay? So we can get at least some information from that. Okay, so if we go um, back to Tecumseh, that was not all that was there. There's also some other quick facts that we can learn. Okay, there's some book articles, there's some magazine articles, um, 
you can even go to some biographies. Okay, we definitely would like biographies. It's going to show us all about his life. And when you see these signs, there's more. We also have pictures. Okay, so that's really helpful, just like we had in one of the other databases I just showed you. Um, so I want you to take a look at these databases. They're Again, they're all found underneath this um, LibGuides off of the library website. You can also look for books. So over here we have our book boxes. We could click on Destiny. This is the back office version, so it just looks a little different. Again, we put in our topic. And all you would need to do at this point is, once you find those books, is you can come down and ask in the library for them and you can check them out if you want, okay? So this was real brief. I did not wanna make this a super, super long um, presentation, but remember this history lib guide is your key. Um, I've also included here a slideshow about Westward Expansion Research that you can open for help. And if you wanna know more about Noodle Tools and how to cite your work, there's huge guides on that. And I also have videos to support you on how to use Noodle Tools. I'm going to be adding one more box when I get off here, which will also be a box called um, EasyBib, which is another alternative to Noodle Tools, which will make you citations. Also on the side here, we have Gale Virtual Reference Library. Um, you definitely should check here for some other great re resources. These are all eBooks. That's why they're in a slightly different spot. Um, and if you ever need any of my help, I have an email me button here, or you can simply um, request a pass to come down and see me in the library if you need help with your research. Okay, great. Thanks a lot. Um, let me know if you have any other questions, um, and I will certainly be around to help you out. Okay, take care and happy research.